Hey everybody, welcome to Master the Basics. I'm going to show you how to set up and properly execute a deadlift, which is probably the most important strength exercise you can ever do. My name is Marshall Roy and I'm the owner of Rise Gym here in King of Prussia. Let's get started. So, the most important part of the deadlift is the setup. To be perfectly honest, if you get your setup just right, the actual execution of the lift, the lifting of the weight, is somewhat automatic. It kind of just happens all on its own. So, you're going to approach a barbell loaded with weight, and you're going to assume a stance that is just outside shoulder width. The toes are going to be turned slightly out to the side, not too far, not flipped all the way out, like, the, like this, but maybe about 15 to 30 degrees. And then you're gonna begin by reaching your butt backwards, okay? So we're not gonna try to drop straight down to the bar, but rather reach backwards, as though you're trying to sit in a chair that's a little too far behind you. Take your time with this, and really, really stick your butt out, okay? And you're gonna go back until you're down low enough and you can grab a hold of the bar. So, uh, a couple little tips I want to give you right off the bat. One, make sure your shins are touching the bar. A lot of times people who are new to this lift will begin back here, okay? And once you start to pull on the bar, you'll find that you have terrible leverage in this position. So it doesn't look like it makes a big difference, but it actually does. So you want to be touching the bar before you even start going down towards it. Then, Another common mistake beginners make is to grab the bar unevenly. So here's the trick that I use. Once I'm in position, I'll drop my hands straight down and then I'll slide them out until I feel where the rough part of the bar starts. That's called the knurling, okay? And it's gonna be the same, uh, it's gonna be symmetrical basically. So if you slide your hands out, almost like you're reading braille, when you touch the knurling, you know that your hands are gonna be spaced evenly, okay? So I'll stick my butt out, sit myself down, push my knees out nice and wide. You're gonna get a really good stretch in your inner thighs and groin. Okay, hands go down. I'm gonna slide out to the knurling, grip the bar, okay? And then from here, what I need to do is set my body into the best possible leverage position. That's gonna make lifting the weight um, the most efficient and more importantly, the safest. Okay, so what I do for that is there's sort of a little checklist that I like to go through. And even having many, many years experience deadlifting, I go through the exact same checklist every single time before every single rep, okay? Consistency is very, very important. You wanna execute this lift the exact same way every single time. So again, I've dropped my hips down to the bar, knees are out nice and wide. I've set my grip symmetrically. So, what I'm going to think about now is squeezing my armpits, lifting my chest, and pulling the bar into my shins, because I'm literally going to slide it up my body, okay? So, symmetrical grip, armpits, chest, and then we're going to bring it down quickly, but under control. The reason that we focus on setting the armpits and the chest and pulling the bar in is because we're trying to activate all of the muscles of the torso, basically, in particular the back. So when you visualize squeezing down your armpits, you're really activating your lat muscles, uh, the same muscles that you would use to, to do a pull-up or a lat pull-down. Uh, likewise, when you pull the bar into your shins, we are aiding in, in the contraction of the lats but we're also gonna get a little bit of a reflexive contraction in the abs, and the abs are really, really important for stiffening the torso, um, keeping the torso rigid as you execute the lift, and preventing any unwanted forces from going into the spine or, or the discs, uh, or areas that people tend to get nervous about when they're lifting something heavy. Um, same thing with sort of that lifting the chest cue. I'll sometimes uh, give, give people the cue, I want you to pretend like you're gonna go in for a chest bump. So what I want to show you now is what's called the lockout, which is basically just the top of the lift once you've, once you've stood up and you're standing tall. There are two major mistakes that a lot of beginners make that I want to show you now and show you how to correct so that you don't ever have this problem. 
and it has to do with either stopping short of the lockout or going too far. The ideal position to be in at the top of a deadlift is standing straight up and down, nice and tall, okay? Very often, people who are new to deadlifting are a little bit hesitant to fully lock out the hips and fully extend the hips, and so a lot of times their lockout will look sort of like this. Okay, you see how I'm still leaned a little forward? We need to go those last two or three inches and really clench the butt cheeks hard and stand up tall. Believe it or not, stopping short of a lockout like that actually puts a great deal of stress on the lower back and it doesn't contract or train the glutes nearly as hard as you can if you fully lock out every single rep with a powerful butt clench. Now, on the other side of the coin, some people will go too far with their lockout and will start to lean back, okay? And this is what that looks like. Okay, see how I'm sort of cranked back like this? That's not so good for the lower back either. The correction for that is I want you to think about clenching your abs really, really tight. Pretend that there's somebody waiting to punch you in the stomach as soon as you finish the lift and you need to tighten up. Basically what we're doing is we're taking the back of the body and the front of the body and we're creating maximal tension, okay? So maximal tension through the glutes to extend the hips forward and then tension in the abs to prevent us from leaning back. And the result is that we're standing perfectly upright, perfectly stable, and safe. Another great cue to think of when you get to the top of the deadlift is to visualize trying to pull the bar through your body. And that's gonna accomplish the same thing. It's gonna create tension on both sides of your body, create a very stable, um, locked position. Uh, you can hold that for about one second, and then again, Quickly, but under control, bring the weight back down to the floor for your next rep. Okay, what I want to show you guys now is what to do if you're a beginner and you're not quite ready to deadlift from the floor with, with a bar and plates, which is really common. Pretty much everybody that comes into my gym to get strength training instruction for the first time, um, I don't start them off deadlifting from the floor. It requires a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more practice. So what I'll do is I will elevate the bar by several inches and I'll start them there. So if you work out at a commercial gym, you can use uh, stackable aerobic steps. Those are perfect because you can start at whatever height allows you to perform the movement correctly and safely. And then as you progress and as you get stronger, you can lower the steps until you're deadlifting from the floor. So you'll do the exact same thing, set up in the exact same way, okay? Hinge backwards, reach your butt back, chest lifted, spine nice and long, find your grip, Armpits, chest, shins. And lock it out in the exact same way. Alternatively, if you have access to a power rack like this one at your gym, you can do deadlifts from the safety pins. And you'll do it exactly as you would uh, from blocks or from aerobic steps. You'll elevate the bar to whatever height you need it to be at for you to perform the lift safely. Set your stance. Create your hip hinge. And perform the deadlift that way. And again, you can uh, slowly and systematically lower the bar until you're able to perform reps from the floor. One other thing I'd like to mention to you guys is this. What I've taught you today is called the sumo deadlift or the wide stance deadlift. I almost always start beginners with a wide stance, people who come to my gym for strength training. And the reason I do that is I feel that the wide stance provides a very balanced stimulus to the body. It hits the legs, it hits the hips, and it hits the back really well. Now, a lot of people deadlift with a narrow stance, which is called conventional deadlifting. And this is great. This is actually how I deadlift when I go to competition. The reason I don't start beginners here is because I feel that this style of deadlifting demands a little bit more mobility 
um, especially from the upper back. And I feel that it doesn't quite hit the hips as hard as the wider stance. It works the legs very well, it works the back really well, but I find that the hips get worked a little bit harder in the wide stance, and so that's how I like to start people off. Once they have been deadlifting for a couple weeks and they feel much more confident with the movement, in some cases, if it's, if it's appropriate, if it feels better, if it allows them to safely lift more weight, we'll move into a narrow stance. But you also don't have to. Many of the world's strongest deadlifters deadlift with this stance. So one is not better than the other. It's 100% up to which one you're most comfortable with and which one is safest for you. All right, lastly, I wanna talk about sets and reps because that's a very common question. Once you've learned how to do a movement is, how many do I do? How many sets, how many reps, how often per week? If you're currently on a strength program or if you belong to a CrossFit gym and you know, you're, you're doing their programming, doing their workouts, uh, that's great. And continue doing as you're doing, follow the instructions of your program. And if you've been able to improve your deadlift from uh, some of the pointers in this video, that's great. If you are a pure beginner and you're not on any type of strength program right now, what I would recommend is deadlifting twice per week. One time medium uh, for more volume, and then a few days later, a bit heavier. So what I'd recommend you do is on the first day of the week, perform between three and five sets of five reps. So depending on your strength level, your general fitness level when you begin, you're gonna be doing anywhere between 15 and 25 reps in the workout. And I would use whatever weight allows you to perform every single one of those repetitions perfectly, okay? If your back starts to hunch over or if your knees start to wobble, the weight is either too heavy or you need to elevate the bar a little bit in order to take away that more challenging range of motion. A couple days later, come back to the gym and load the bar approximately 20% heavier and do between three and five sets of between two and three reps, okay? If you're young, if you're healthy, if you've trained a little bit before but maybe aren't familiar with the deadlift, you could go to the higher end of that and maybe do five sets of three. If you are more of a beginner, uh, less conditioned, a little bit uh, less strong starting out, I would stay at the lower end of that and do maybe three sets of two or three sets of three. The following week, when you go back to your volume workout, add a little bit of weight to the bar, maybe five to 10 pounds total. And subsequently, uh, your heavier workout a couple days after that is gonna be a little bit heavier than it was the week before. So this very, very simple pattern of higher reps, medium weight, lower reps, heavier weight, a little bit later in the week, and then starting over the week after with a bit more weight is awesome. It's so, so simple and it works, and you can follow a, a regimen like that for months and actually build appreciable strength, a ton of strength that way. Resist any urge to make it any more complicated than that. Just stick to the basics. Make sure every single rep is performed perfectly and be patient. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I am so passionate about helping people master the basics Make sure you hit up kbformula.com for a ton of free workouts and other cool stuff. And if you have any questions whatsoever about lifting, fitness, whatever, please drop a comment or feel free to shoot me a line. And don't forget to subscribe.